So after a little bit of thinking and pondering some time, I opted to, th this is the old pulley that came off this gearbox that I bent when I put it, when I put the gearbox in the press and used eight tons of pressure to get it off. I opted to give this pulley a really thorough inspection because I got to thinking about it and I decided that this is not a high toler or a, a tight tolerance part. I mean, it's a belt that goes on this. And as long as there's no um, burrs or anything like that, and it's not just completely out of round or anything along those lines, this pulley should be fine. So I spent about 25 minutes uh, with this in a, in a vise, rotating it around, uh, taking a pair of channel locks and basically just slowly bending it back into shape. And it seems to have come back into shape. I went ahead and anywhere that like, I think it was right here, you might be able to see that. Anywhere that I put like a mar or something in the surface, I went ahead, I ran my finger, my bare finger over it and I made sure that it was nice and smooth. If it wasn't, I just took a little bit of thousand grit sandpaper and sand it down. You might be able to see a little bit of that in there. Uh, and I, so, I mean, I think overall this pulley still is in pretty good shape. I don't see any, I don't see any reason that I shouldn't be able to use it right now. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to take, and I'm going to put the, I was originally planning on changing the belt on the 1445, but I think what I'm going to do is instead of changing the belt, I'm just going to leave the old belt on there. And if it wears, it wears. And I know that I need to replace this pulley. And um, this gearbox is easy enough to take off, um, so that's not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and put this pulley back on here. The gearbox has been sitting here uh, approximately two days and no leaks, so that's good news. Um, really happy with that. It means that my seal job was correct, or at least until the first time I get it hot. So it's already got gear oil in it, so I'm going to go... Um, put this pulley on here and then we're going to put it back on the 1445. I don't know if we'll mow with it today, but we'll at least put it back on there and uh, see how it goes. So let me get set up for that and we'll go from there. So I'm kind of flying blind with a torque spec here on how much torque this thing needs. So we're just going to hammer it home and call it good. At least I think that's the plan right now. And naturally I thought I had the right. It was right here. Oh, there it is. It's like I thought I had the right socket around. Yep. So I'm just gonna put it on setting two, which is I think a couple hundred foot pounds. I'm just gonna hit it a couple times and call it good. Just like that and so we're gonna call that um, good so now we can go take and put it on the 1445 all right let's see if we can get this gearbox on here um, <clears throat> I've gone ahead and cleaned out all of the bolt holes and everything cleaned off the screw or the bolts <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'll put this gearbox on and then I will put the drive shaft on um, and I'll go ahead and put a little anti-seize, never seize on there. And then I'll put the shield over the top. So the way to do this, you just gotta pay attention to the belt routing. Uh, you to make sure that your belt is looped around like that. And then along those lines and then find your first couple bolt holes well that's a lot easier than the last time I did it I don't know the last time I did this I rode the struggle bus something bad it was not a fun experience for some reason Couldn't get the bolts lined up or anything. All right, so there are those. 
Now what I'm going to do, um, I guess before I tighten this down, I'm going to go ahead and uh, loop this belt over. Now I'm going to tighten this down first. So I'll do that and then I'll loop that belt over. I need a couple more tools, wrenches and stuff. All right, got the gearbox mounted back up there. And just to save time for you, uh, the viewer, I went ahead and tightened this down. Basically what we're looking for on a 72 inch deck, we're looking for five and seven sixteenths of an inch from the point of tip of my finger to the other end of the spring. Uh, if you can tell that this belt is probably pretty close to being just stretched out to its max because I don't have that much left in terms of adjustment on the rod here to top it off this rod's pretty worn i replaced this when i bought this machine uh, and i have another one that I'm, i'll replace it with when i replace the uh the belt i have never replaced the belt on this thing so these belts last a long time and i don't know if it's original or not but um now all i have to do is i have to lock this bolt down and this bolt down and we'll we should be good to go and uh, then I can put the drive shaft on. Got the drive shaft all nice and greased up. Got um, anti seize there on the drive shaft uh, on the gearbox, the input on the gearbox. And then I will put the shield on and then we'll hook it back up to the 1445 and we'll be ready to mow for another day. So, uh, once again, cannot stress the importance of uh, maintenance on these, mach on these machines because if you, if you uh, are not diligent with the maintenance, they can cost uh, quite a bit of money. So anyway, um, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.